Hello friends, welcome to this YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve one numerical problem on three-phase medium length transmission line. By solving this problem, we shall learn how to determine percentage voltage regulation of a three-phase medium length transmission line when load details and values of generalized constants A, B, C, D are known. A 132 kV 50 Hz three-phase transmission line delivers a load of 50 MW at 0 0.8 power factor lagging at the receiving end. The generalized constants of the transmission line are A equals to D equals to 0 0.95 at an angle 1.4 degree, P equals to 96 ohm at an angle 78 degree and C equals to 0 0.0015 more at an angle 90 degree. We have to determine the percentage voltage regulation and the charging current assuming nominal T equivalent circuit. Let us now write down the given data. Power delivered to the load PL equals to 50 megawatts. That is equal to 15 to 10 to the power 6 watts. Line to line receiving end voltage. Here line equals to 132 kilo volts. That is equal to 132 into 10 to the power 3 volts. For star connected system receiving end voltage per phase. Here equals to here line divided by root 3. That is equal to 132 into 10 to the power 3 divided by root 3. That gives us 76,210 volts. Given load power factor cos phi L equals to 0 0.8 lagging. Let us now calculate power factor angle. Phi L equals to cos inverse 0 0.8. That is equal to 36.8699 degree. Expression for power delivered to the load. PL equals to root 3 times VR line into IL cos phi L. Therefore load current IL equals to PL divided by root 3 times VR line into cos phi L. Using values we get. 50 into 10 to the power 6 divided by root 3 into 132 into 10 to the power 3 into 0 0.8. That is equal to 273.37 ampere. Load current may be written in polar form as IL equals to IL at an angle minus phi L. That is equal to 273.37 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. Here load current IL is the receiving end current IR. Taking receiving end voltage per phase as reference we can write VR equals to 76,210 volts at an angle 0 degree. We have computed Receiving end current IR equals to 273.37 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. Given generalized constants for T equivalent circuit A equals to D equals to 0 0.95 at an angle 1.4 degree B equals to 96 ohm at an angle 78 degree and C equals to 0 0.0015 more at an angle 90 degree. Expression for sending in voltage per phase Vs equals to A times Vr plus B times Ir. Using values we get 0 0.95 at an angle 1.4 degree into 76,000 210 at an angle 0 degree plus 96 at an angle 78 degree 
into 273.37 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. That gives us 92,144.978 plus J times 19,031.105 whole. This may be written in polar form as 94089.744 volt at an angle 11.669 degree. Expression for sending and current per phase IS equals to C times VR plus D times IR. Using values we get 0.0015 at an angle 90 degree into 76,000. 210 at an angle 0 degree plus 0 0.95 at an angle 1.4 degree into 273.37 at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. That gives us 211.50622 minus J times 36.38334 ampere. This may be written in polar form as 214.6 ampere at an angle minus 9.76 degree. On no load, receiving end current IR equals to 0. Therefore, receiving end voltage per phase on no load, VRO equals to Vs divided by A. Using values we get. 94089.744 at an angle 11.669 degree divided by 0 0.95 at an angle 1.4 degree that gives us 99041.836 volt at an angle 10.269 degree. Let us now calculate voltage regulation that is equal to VRO minus VR divided by VR. We have computed receiving end voltage per phase on load. VR equals to 76,210 volts and receiving end voltage per phase on no load. VRO equals to 99,000 41.836 volt. Using values we get voltage regulation equals to 99,041.836 minus 76,210 divided by 76,210. That gives us 0 0.2996 per unit or 29.96 per cent. Let us draw the per phase nominal T equivalent circuit for a three phase medium length transmission line. Applying Kirchhoff's current law at node P, we get sending and current per phase IS equals to IC plus IL. Therefore, capacitor charging current IC equals to IS minus IL. We have computed sending and current per phase IS equals to 211.50622 minus J times 36.38334 ampere and load current IL equals to 273.37 ampere at an angle minus 36.8699 degree. This may be written in Cartesian form as 218.696 minus J times 164.022 ampere. Using values we get IC equals to minus 7.18978 plus J times 127.63866 ampere. This may be written in polar form as 127.841 ampere at an angle 93.224 degree. So today we have solved 
one numerical problem on three phase medium length transmission line. By solving this problem, we have learned how to determine percentage voltage regulation of a three phase medium length transmission line when values of generalized constant A, B, C, D are given and load details are known. Hope this lecture has been useful for you. If you have any suggestion or question, please drop it in the comment section below. If you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thank you.